In the wake of an enormous backlash over his sudden firing of FBI Director James Comey, President Trump is defending himself before reporters. Why did you fire Director Comey? Why did you fire Director Comey? Because he wasn't doing a good job, very simply. He was not doing a good job. And on Twitter, promising to replace Comey with someone better and predicting that when things calm down, everyone in Washington, quote, will be thanking me. Country over party! But as protesters gathered outside the White House today, critics slammed the move, questioning the administration's rationale for dismissing the director. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein pointing to Comey's mishandling of the Clinton email investigation. Secretary Clinton's use of a personal email. Even though then-candidate Trump applauded Comey's moves during the campaign. I have to give the FBI credit. And as recently as last month, said he had confidence in the director. I have confidence in him. We'll see what happens. But today at the White House, Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said the president's displeasure with Comey's job performance had been growing for some time and suggested his testimony before Congress last week was the last straw. He'd lost confidence in Director Comey, and frankly, he'd been considering letting Director Comey go since the day he was elected. At one point, Sanders accused Comey of using his position to commit atrocities at the Justice Department, later adding, He had essentially taken a stick of dynamite and thrown it into the Department of Justice by going around the chain of command when he decided to take uh, steps without uh, talking to the attorney general or the deputy attorney general. Now members of both parties on Capitol Hill are raising serious concerns about the timing of the dismissal. And White House officials, many caught off guard by the move and the blowback, are scrambling to explain it, insisting it had nothing to do with the fact that Comey was leading the investigation into possible collusion between Trump associates and Russian officials during the presidential campaign. This had nothing to do with Russia as much as somebody must be getting $50 every time the word is said. Vice President Mike Pence on a trip to the Capitol also defending his boss. The American people have to have confidence in the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The president made the right decision at the right time. Those explanations not sitting well with some members. Why did it happen last night? Were those investigations getting too close to home? When you fire probably, arguably, the most respected person in America, you better have a very good explanation. And so far, I haven't seen that. The attorney general and his deputy were set to interview potential interim replacements for Comey today. The president, meanwhile, spent most of the day behind closed doors, meeting first with Russia's foreign minister and ambassador, and later with Henry Kissinger, who served as secretary of state during the Nixon administration.